Hi, I'm Ian Brees with IB Training. And I'm Casey Arnold with Unparalleled Performance. Today we're going to talk to you about HIT, High Intensity Interval Training, and what it is and some of the benefits with HIT training. The new theme for 2013, Casey, is HIT. Yes, but it is, Ian. We know that there's nothing new about it. No, there's absolutely nothing new about it. It's great that it's finally being branded, this style of training, but this is actually a style of training that's been around for a very long period of time. Some of the other names hits gone by, Tabata training. Circuit training. High intensity interval training. All those equaling out to a type of workout to give you the most, what we like to say bang for your buck, meaning burning the most amount of calories in the shortest amount of time while burning the most amount of calories post-workout. So basically, what we're trying to do during high-intensity interval training is elevate the heart rate. So after exercise, the heart rate is still elevated, so you're burning through a lot of the stress, the cortisol fat, which is one of the hardest fats to really burn through. Oh yeah, absolutely. What's the effect called, Casey, that happens after exercise where your heart rate is still elevated? Afterburn. Epoch. Yes. What about Epoch that makes it so important with post-exercise? Epoch is so important for post-exercise because it allows our body to continue to burn during the effects from exercise. So with the effects of Epoch, we are allowed to create and build much more lean muscle mass along with a stronger and better heart. So training some of my clients, I do a lot of high intensity classes. Absolutely. I like to keep them at 10 minutes on, 30 seconds off, seven minutes on, 30 seconds off, five minutes, 30 seconds rest, then we'll do a cool down stretch. Some people do it a little differently. Absolutely, there's tons of different ways you can put together the circuits as long as you're keeping at a high intensity. When you use high intensity, I am not a lot of, not a lot of people know what that means. Explain what high intensity might mean in a heart rate perspective. Heart rate is going to be at a higher end of the heart rate zone for training. So, for example, me, I would be 170 to 180 because that's the higher end of my training zone. So I would want to end that zone as long as possible in that period of time that I'm training. And what do you see the best effect is from your clients then when if they're not doing HIIT training, what would you say they love about it as opposed to a regular one hour linear type of workout program? Um, a couple things. One, time efficiency. I can get them working out and a higher intensity and less time. So they love that it's only a 30 minute class most of the time. The other one is the cardiovascular system. If they're training for a Spartan race or a Tough Mudder, they're looking for something to increase the endurance of their performance. Doing high intensity, keeping their heart rate up, is going to allow them better endurance for running a longer race, such as a Tough Mudder. Absolutely, Ian, and I completely agree. There are so many people out here that would love to work out, but they always have the excuse, I don't have enough time. With HIT training, you can create that time in a very small variable, meaning 20 to 30 minutes, and get the same, <clears throat> excuse me, the same result as if you were to do a one hour workout. So why is it so important for us to increase the intensity during the workout to get the epoch effect? It's so important. It's a great, great point you make, Ian, because the higher that we increase our heart rate, the more oxygen consumption that our body is demanding. Thus, when we are finished with our workout, an epoch takes place. We are allowing our body to continue to burn calories. So that means even after your workout, you're still breathing pretty hard. Absolutely. So still taking in a lot of oxygen and your body really wants that and it's helping burn a little bit more efficiently than doing a moderate intense workout. Absolutely, and that's something that we want to do even if we were just doing a linear workout. We always want to increase our intensity levels so that we A, are burning more calories, B, becoming a lot more efficient in our breathing techniques, and creating a stronger heart muscle in general. So some of the real benefits of higher intensity compared to moderate intensity, my clients see is in weight loss results. 
Absolutely. I get asked the question all the time. Actually, I was asked a question the other day on Facebook. If I want to lose weight, do I want to do a linear workout or do I want to have increased intensity with intervals? And of course, interval training. See, a lot of people have a misconception of what interval training is as well. It can be just a circuit training of five different workouts, 30 second intervals each, and then moving on to the next. Another type could be treadmill. You can make the treadmill a high intensity interval. They have hills, you can actually set it to do the hill and down and up and down. And that's creating a higher intensity interval training for people that just wanna do cardio based programs. Absolutely, like you just said, I am the treadmill. Hit training or interval training cardio, all can be put into that category and you can perform this workout Anywhere. You can do it with body weight at home, in your living room. You can do it in a small training studio. You can do it at the gym. You can do it outdoors. This type of workout truly has no limits. Thus, those that truly want to create a healthier lifestyle can make an excuse as to where, when, and how they can get their workout in. Now, we see a lot of DVDs at home. Sean T's Insanity. Yes. How do you feel about that type of workout? Because it is a high intensity workout. It is, it's a very high intensity workout, but we need to understand our own personal bubbles. So that workout is definitely great for a certain population. So it's very important that you understand where you are at conditioning wise, where you're at in a health standpoint, so that you know that you're not overexerting or overreaching during your training program, which could cause you to actually create an injury within yourself and to actually regress rather than progress. Now, as hearing the term high intensity, it kind of scares a lot of people off. Yes, it does. I know that I ran a, a HIIT class for a while and to me it seemed like a lot of people were intimidated. Some of the elder clients were like, oh, that's too hard for me. But that's the thing about us being trainers is we can still keep a high intensity but we can modify exercises, especially for our senior population that are a little intimidated by the word high intensity. Absolutely, high intensity doesn't mean you're dying on the floor about to pass out. It all depends on the individual and their fitness level. What can be high intensity to you might not be high intensity to a 12 year old boy or a 78 year old female. It all depends on the person where they're at, and how they're doing. Casey, if you had a client that wanted to do weight training, could you make that high intensity? Absolutely, we could make weight training high intensity. There's so many different styles of high intensity that we really limit ourselves to believing what high intensity is. Just coming up with some type of program, either with a trainer, as Casey or myself, or finding a video um, you can create an actual high intensity workout using a multitude of different exercises from push-ups to jumping jacks to burpees. Absolutely. Those three right there, you can get a tremendous high intensity workout. You can get a high intensity workout anywhere you are. And with dumbbells, it's just maybe doing some lifts for time or increasing the weight and increasing the amount of repetitions. It all depends on the variables and the variability that you want to create in your workout. So, 2013, be on the lookout for the new trend, high intensity interval training, or known as HIT. Yes. I'm Ian Brees with IB Training. I'm Casey Arnold with Unparalleled Performance. We're signing off from Professional Fitness Institute. Have a great day. Have a great day.